Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about strings in Java. Okay, so first of all, string is nothing but collection of characters or string represent a sequence of characters. So character is nothing but either one alphabet or a digit or special symbol. Characters are represented in single quotation and strings are represented in double quotations. Okay, so collection of characters is nothing but string okay for example java j is one character a is one character v is one character a is one character so collection of characters if we combine all the characters that nothing but string okay so the easiest way to represent a sequence of characters by using character array so in the previous classes we have discussed about uh, array right so array is nothing but a collection of elements similar elements okay so here if you want to represent a character array the syntax is the data type is char and array name is s name is equals to new char of 4 so here 4 memory locations are allocated you can store 4 characters okay so s name of 0 is equals to z this is known as initialization okay s name of 0 is equals to j s name of 1 is equals to a S name of 2 is equals to B. S name of 3 is equals to A. So here 0, 1, 2, 3 are known as index values. J, A, V, A are known as values. Okay. Here S name is a array name. Okay. Next. Strings may be declared and created as follows. Okay. So there are many forms to create a strings. One is character array. And the next one is by using string data type. Okay. String string name so this is nothing but variable data type variable name so here we are specifying string so that's why we took string string name okay so this is known as declaration of string so next we need to allocate the memory so here i am allocating the memory and as well as initializing the array name okay sorry string name string name is equals to new string of java so here string name is a variable it will hold java okay so here i wrote two statements okay you can combine these two two statements and make it one string string name is equals to new string of java okay no need to no need of two lines you can mention only in one line okay so by using this way you can represent string the next one is a string array so by using this you can store collection of characters by using this you can store only one string in one variable so if you want to store collection of string okay collection of string you can use string array we all know array array is used to store collection of similar data elements okay for example i want to store 10 employee names okay so it is not possible to store in one uh, variable right so that's why we are using string array okay so how to declare the string array data type data type so here we are using one dimensional string okay one dimensional array so that's why i kept uh, only one substring next array name is a string array one okay next we need to create the memory for that purpose string string name is equals to new string of two okay the example is string i took item is a variable name is equals to new string of three so here you can store three strings okay in one variable that is item okay so if you observe this example this is known as initialization we can initialize by using three ways this is known as inline initialization so here a declaration and initialization at the same line data type string name is equals to new data type so here data type is a string why because we are talking about strings right so if you want to store integer values you can mention here int okay so string string name is equals to new string of here you need to mention the values okay this is the first uh, first form the second form is string string name is equals to values okay you can use this one also next one third one is string string name is equals to new string of three so this is known as declaration and creation 
after declaration and creation you can use this strings uh, string name index value is equals to value string name index value is equals to value so here i am storing in zeroth index first index and second index like this you can store okay let me show you the example program so this is the example program okay so this is the main function declaration the variable and allocating the memory okay so string string name is equals to values so here i am storing four strings okay violin viola cello double double bass okay next if you want to display these values you can use for loop why because if you want to display only one value you can specify string array of zero okay why because this index value is zero one two three okay if you want to display any individual element you can use array name and index value but i want to display all the values so for that purpose i took for loop okay why because for loop is used to execute same statement number of times so i want to execute this statement four times so that's why i less than four so initially i value is zero zero less than four is two so it will go inside and it will execute string array of zero so string array of zero contain violin so it will display and after that i value is incremented to one one less than four is true so then it will go to string array of one and it will display viola okay next i value is incremented to two two less than four so it will display all the values when i becomes four four less than four condition is false it will come out from the loop okay let me execute this program So file name is string array dot java. Next class name is also same string array. So it will display the values. Okay. So whatever the values are there, it will display all the values. Okay. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts regarding to this video, please comment me in the comment section. For more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.